Today it's time to revisit uh, one of my favorite uh, tube heads, the Marshall JVM 410. The Marshall JVM uh, 410 is a very popular uh, um, head. It's um, maybe the flagship of the Marshall uh, tube heads and uh, yeah, it's quite popular for a good reason. It sounds uh, phenomenal. It's very flexible. To be honest, it's uh, the best sounding head I know from Marshall. But of course, that is a, uh, you yeah, know, depends on your taste. But um, I'm very happy with this. And um, of course, I made a video about this head uh, in the past. But as I was struggling a little bit with the audio and also some people are complaining about background music, um, which was uh, disturbing the overall uh, yeah, experience of enjoying the video. I thought, uh, well, maybe I will uh, revisit this amp. And also, I didn't turn it on after the uh, flood accident, uh, flood disaster happened. So I was curious if it's still working. Because when the flood hit us uh, last summer, I don't know if you uh, heard it, but here in Germany we had a terrible flood uh, disaster. Then I had to. Um, uh, yeah, evacuate my old studio at night when the water was already entering the room and I had to bring up all this gear, uh, rescue it from the water. So, but anyway, it's still working. I'm happy. So, um, and another reason why I'm uh, turning it on now is I got a new microphone, which is the Lewitt 440 uh, dynamic microphone, which I am, if I'm not uh, mistaken, if I'm not wrong, Ingve is using. So that was, uh, well, the reason why I bought it. And also, I heard that it's very, uh, it got very good critics in the internet. Of course, I like the SM57, but uh, this is supposed to be even better for guitars. And uh, yeah, we will try it out now. Maybe I will do a comparison. I'm using the uh, fitting cabinet. It's the Marshall Windage 30, uh, um, Marshall Windage 1960. Yeah, with Windage 30 speakers. And um, in the loop, I got my uh, Alessa Scrutter verb for a little bit of reverb. For those of you who are not familiar with this amp, uh, it has four channels. One is called Clean, Crunch, OD1 and OD2. Each channel has three modes, so in total you have 12 modes. And each channel has volume, bass, and little treble gain. And uh, also you have a uh, power amp section with the resonance and master control. Uh, two reverbs, no, uh, sorry, reverb for each channel, and uh, what else, yeah, two master controls, and it's MIDI programmable, so that means, uh, yeah, you can, uh, you can change the, uh, one of these 12 modes with a MIDI control signal, that makes it very flexible, and I connected it with my MIDI foot controller, which is currently turned off doesn't make any difference. So this is the sound. I'm currently in the uh, OD2 channel red mode, so the one with the most gain. <laughs> By the way, I'm playing my Harley Band Fusion HSH Fusion 2 in this beautiful red color. And um, well, let's turn on the uh, the MIDI foot controller. Where is it? Where is it? This button to switch it on. Okay, because then maybe I can show you the sound without the delay. Because it's controlling the quarter verb and the, this thing. So it's without the delay, I think.
currently I dialed back the treble a little bit, so I will set the EQ to 12 o'clock, everything, bass, middle, treble. Gain is also 12 o'clock. <laughs> can get annoying at high volumes with this, uh, yeah, you have this Marshall, uh, well, maybe 4K or something, which is very good if you're playing legato, but uh, yeah, if you pick a little bit harder, then it's annoying, so I would dial it back. By the way, uh, resonance is at 11 o'clock, presence at 12 o'clock, uh, let's set it all to 12 o'clock. Might be a little bit too less trouble. Everything at 12 o'clock. Maybe I travel died a little bit back and um, sounds quite good in my opinion, with this guitar at least. channel let's uh, switch to the OD1 channel <laughs> okay here I dial back the bass middle let's set it all to 12 o'clock also red mode of course it's the most important mode <laughs> Sounds a little bit more uh, harmonic, in my opinion. Now I will switch uh, between the OD2 and OD1 mode. They have a little bit of a different uh, uh, pop, uh, tone step. Okay, 
also it has more volume. <laughs> Okay, now I set it to the maybe to the same volume. Again, this is only one. Treble and middle control, they are quite high, affecting very high uh, frequency range, I think. So, let's dial it back. What is also interesting, if you dial it all back, and then start to raise it all a little bit, you get a more... Uh, a uh, vintage like Marshall sound. <laughs> so this is bass and middle at 8 o'clock and treble at uh, 11 o'clock. Of course I raised the volume a little bit. I think the amp was designed with, uh, with everything at 12 o'clock to sound good, but uh, it's also, um, yeah, you can get also nice tones uh, with drastic settings of the EQ setting here. It's not like uh, where they maybe um, a dual rectifier where you always have to set the treble uh, around 1 o'clock and uh, everything else sounds like shit suddenly. Here, um, yeah, as I said, now it's uh, bass and middle at 8 or 9 o'clock and treble at 10 o'clock now, it sounds also good. I would be careful with the treble a little bit, but you will, you will hear that because it's hitting your ears when you're playing with loud volumes. Now let's go back to 12 o'clock. 
gain and um, also it takes pedals very well so you can boost it like with uh, every other Marshall I know but um, you don't need pedals here honestly it's it's tight it's not floppy or anything um, and it has tons of gain <laughs> And if you cannot get a good sound out of this head, then I think you cannot get a good sound with anything. Because it's very flexible and it's easy to, to dial in. So, um, let's go to the other channels. Um, or maybe I will, would like to tr show you something in the OD1 green. And we will crank it. Because I think in this... Uh, in this region, here with the OD1 green or also the crunch mode uh, red, which I'll show you in a second, it's more or less like a, the 800-ish 800, uh, yeah, sounds. <laughs> Set it to 12 o'clock and then compare it with the OD1 uh, green mode. Ah, it's not at 12 o'clock, sorry. So, this is everything at 12 o'clock, the OD1 green mode. Sounds uh, yeah, a little bit like an JCM 800 at least, or um, yeah, it's maybe supposed to be the JCM 800 circuit. I don't know exactly, but it sounds great. And also, if you boost it, I think um, you can come near the uh, boosted JCM 800. In this crunch mode, you have other um, uh, other circuits. Let's check out the green mode. 
Was that something of the Nirvana Unplugged album? Anyway, uh, yeah, so what is the difference between orange and red? Yeah, more gain. Uh, but uh, the characteristics are similar, I think. And uh, yeah, let's go to the clean channel, which is uh, very uh, interesting because most of the, the marshals I know, they don't have a, uh, uh, really a clean channel where you can get pristine clean tones, but this one can do it. Clean green mode. Ah, and this channel, um, the volume uh, control is only working for the orange and red mode, so here in the green channel you have only the gain. Set it all to 12 o'clock. Let's check out if I dialed in some chorus in the quarter work for the clean tones. Ah, yeah, I programmed it. Maybe this is more the JTM uh, JTM area with that very flubby flubby bass. I personally don't like it that much, so I have to stick with the other modes. <laughs> So there you have it, and um, I hope you get an impression of this amp. It can do literally anything you can imagine. Uh, and also it, it looks kick-ass. As Ingwe say, says in his interviews, um, if you want a Marshall then you maybe you should get a Marshall amp and uh, not a maybe a PV amp which is supposed to sound almost like a Marshall amp. So yeah, if you like Marshall amps, this may be the real deal. Also, this one, the uh, DSL, is uh, more affordable. Can sound also great, but it's not that flexible. Also, it has a different characteristic, and it cannot do uh, very good cleans. Um, yeah. So now I'm curious how uh, 
my new microphone with sound. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, this helps you to get an impression. Please subscribe to my channel. And I hope you stay all healthy through this pandemic. Goodbye.